Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also manually add multiple Excel tables to a workbook's data model to manually create a workbook's data model. You can then use the data model for pivot tables and pivot charts. Before doing this, however, first create the tables in Excel and ensure they are formatted or created as tables in their worksheet. You can only add table data that has been created or formatted as a table by using either the Create Table or Format as Table dialog box, and which also has a referenceable table name value to the data model. However, the tables can be available in any opened Excel workbook and do not necessarily need to be included in the Excel workbook in which they are added to the data model. After opening the Excel workbooks that contain the tables, then open the workbook in which to add the tables to the data model. In this workbook, then click the Data tab in the ribbon. Then click the Existing Connections button in the Get and Transform Data button group on the Data tab of the ribbon to open the Existing Connections dialog box. Click the Tables tab within the Existing Connections dialog box to view a list of the available Excel tables in any opened workbooks. Click or tap to select the table to add to the data model. Then click the Open button at the bottom of the dialog box to open the Import To dialog box. In the Import Data dialog box, choose the option you prefer within the Select How You Want to View This Data in Your Workbook section. To only add the table as a workbook connection and add the table to the workbook's data model, select the Only Create Connection option button. If needed, then choose where to place the data by selecting an option in the Where do you want to put the data section. If you select the Only Create Connection option in the first section, then you won't need to select a worksheet location in the second section. Most importantly, to add the table data to the workbook's data model, ensure that the Add this data to the data model checkbox in this dialog box is checked. After deciding how to add the data and where to place it, click the OK button to finish. From that point on, you can then select the table as the data source from the workbook's data model when creating pivot tables and pivot charts. Within both the Create Pivot Table or Create Pivot Chart dialog boxes, select the Use This Workbook's Data Model option button within the Choose the Data That You Want to Analyze section to set the tables in the workbook's data model as the data source. Then finish creating the desired objects as usual. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.